Hit this route on mute. There we go. Right, sorry, we're on. Okay, we're on. Sorry, sorry about that, uh, people in internet land that are hearing screeches and, and whatever, whatever. Right, so I'm going to talk about posters for a little while. You'll see me in a moment. Um, I think we'll just... just um, and I'll just... Uh, there we go. There we go, so now that's right. So I'll just get, the, get this up and then we'll... Play posters. Right. Um, okay, so there's a handout each to t talk about this. Um, do you want to just hand, hand, hand them around and then just sort them out? Um, if you're in internet land, if you go to www.unicoms.org.uk... You need to change your... This is... what? That's yeah. where you're streaming, over the piano. Oh, am I am I am I am I okay here? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So I'll, well, I'd, I'll I'll yeah I'll stand here and 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 I'll flip back to there in a minute. Um, if you're on internet land and you go to the Unicoms website unicoms.org.uk, then you can pick up the the handout that we've actually got. You'll see a link down the left hand side of the page. So you've got this one and you've got the exercise that we're going to do later. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, going to zoom this out because you're quite right. Well, I I'm, I'm can't, no, the other way. Right, so it's just a few notes to, to consider when you're actually uh, developing or doing some, some posters really. And it's quite short and it's not, uh, com you know, absolutely complete, but it's hopefully something which will actually sort of uh, just make you think about things a little bit. We're going to look at um, about what is a good poster. We are then going to critique some posters, and then we've got some questions and answers. Now, this is a, something which was told to me a while ago, and I think this is that rather sums up what a, what a poster should be able to do. And it's, it's rather uh, simplistic, but it doesn't matter. We've used the word hook, pull, catch, and land. Uh, so we're going to go through each of those stages and then you can look at some posters and work out whether you believe that those posters are actually doing the right, the, the right job or not. So the hook. And this is so critical because if the other factors, if the, the other fa even if the other factors work, then if this doesn't, then you've wasted your time. So we just, we've only just started, Louise. Okay, so you've got a, you've got a handout here. Um, so the first factor with a poster is the fact that you can hook the person. So they have got to notice it. They've actually got to stop and turn their head and go, oh my goodness, you know, wh what's that? And that image could be something outrageously awful, like somebody's head being cut off or something terrible. Um, it could be something beautiful, which makes people just want to stare at it. It doesn't matter what it is but you've actually got to make somebody stop and actually start reading that poster. The, the, wherever we go in this world, that so many things are fighting for our attention and so many people are doing it so well, as one falls off the wall, that unless we play that game and we actually manage to, 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 to make people look at our things, then they're not going not gonna to do it. So, I mean, I've just got this one up here, but you've got this wonderful, lovely picture of a sort of flower there. And hopefully, if you, if you saw that, then you would, you'd stop and want to actually sort of look at it and, and engage. So, the whole purpose of the hook part is the fact that it makes people stop in their tracks and actually look at the poster. The next stage is where there's something on the poster which is effectively going to make them step towards it because people actually want to know. And this effectively is the big text. It's the large print text which wants to resonate with them. It's, it's got to be readable, and you know, it could be argued that some of that go, going into the sunset, you know, white on, on a very light sky, is actually meaning that, that you know, it's not terribly, terribly clear. But... So, so you, you've got readability, but you want something, a message, a statement, a, 
a word which is actually going to pull people in and actually hopefully mean that they're going to spend some time then looking at your poster. This isn't rocket science, it really is quite simple. The catch is the smaller print. They, they have, they've seen the, the bigger print, they've, that's engaged that person and they want to know more and therefore they're now getting to the point which is where they're getting so close to it that they can actually read the smaller print that you've actually got. And the last stage is what we call land and in PR terms, which was mentioned today, it's basically the call to action you are making that person or you are hoping that that person is going to follow this up with something, that they are actually going to take some action from this. What that action is could vary enormously, but you are hoping that they are actually going to, to be able to do that and they're going to do that. It could be come to the coffee morning, it could be go to a website, it could be phone a telephone number. It could be a number of different things that you want that person to do. But unless they are going to do something, then you'd rather have wasted your time with the other bits and pieces. Because unless they follow it through, then, you know, it's, it was nice, but it didn't actually achieve anything. There is a huge problem, I think, when you look at a lot of posters, which is where you've got a form versus function debate and one or other of these has actually sort of taken over and t to a, 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 cr a crazy degree. What do I mean? The, a functional poster will... Sorry, a, 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 a poster with great form will look wonderful and it looks stunning, but sometimes when you actually analyse it, it's actually not terribly useful. It's not really achieving anything. People will look at it and go, oh, that's stunning, and then move on. Or look at it and laugh, but then actually not remember what the poster was trying to, trying to do. So on the form side, we've got stunning posters, which aren't actually particularly useful. And on the functional side, it might be that we have added all the details possible on that poster. So it's terribly, terribly functional. But because we have then cluttered it with all that information, it means that it really doesn't have a huge amount of impact. And it's so sort of clutter and, and crazy to look that we don't actually really bother reading it. So that's functional, but actually, it, because it's not actually appealing to look at, then the, the form is so poor we don't actually tend to, to do it. And a lot of the posters you're going to look at later, the 48 that we've actually got on the board, some of them very much fall into one category or the other, which is where either they, they're lovely to look at, but they don't actually give you any information, or they've got a huge amount of information, but it actually means that, that um, they're not very nice to look at and probably don't, don't appeal to people having a, having a look. They've got no, no impact, as we say. Well, uh, well, uh, uh, um, re, re, okay, well, well, okay, what I'm saying is that the, a, a, a poster which has lovely form will actually be beautiful to look at, but it won't necessarily give you the information to, let's say, do a call to action. Right. You, you know, it's not obvious what people actually are meant to be doing. Um, you know, it's, it, it, it might be... The design. I mean, the design. The design is. You know, the design has had a had a field day on it, and they've created something absolutely beautiful. But, but there's it's. No information but there's. Or yes. Or there's. It's not obvious what you're actually meant to meant to actually be doing. I mean, I I, I don't wish to be critical because it's not my poster. But the one here, we've got Roadshow the G at GA. Now, <coughs> it's it's a. <coughs> that's an example to me, which is where they've ha they've had a bit of fun doing it. <coughs> Excuse me. But actually. W w there's not actually very obvious about what you're meant to do, what it's about. There's not enough detail on that to, for it actually to be to be a reasonably good poster. I don't it was designed with some blank spaces blocking, so now you've quickly sort of got on the internet. 
Okay, that, that maybe that, that's why I'm being slightly, slightly unf un unfair. Uh, fair, you know, it, it, could, it could be that, that we're not looking at the finished article or whatever. So, so yes, so I'm, I'm sure you're, you're right. But, the, but as it stands like that, then it's actually not, 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 ter not terribly useful. Um, the, the form, uh, sorry, we've actually sort of got, got here. So, so there's not enough detail to sell the event. Clean design, but um, uh, it's not very clear. But, but it, ha it can have, have impact. Okay, know your parameters. The, the, one of the things that you need to do is to work out what you think the poster is trying to do. And it, this really leads on from what was earlier said, said uh, uh, earlier today. You know, we've, we've got something, but what we're we trying to do, are we trying to get people to go to a website? Are we trying to get people to, to, to phone up to commit or send an email to commit to being on the coffee rotor? Are we actually trying to, to make them view our website, are we trying to communicate some aspect of Unitarian ethos and, and therefore the, the point of the poster is the fact that they understand a little bit more about us but we don't actually want to do anything more. You've got to be extremely clear about what that poster is trying to do. In some cases it's very obvious and it's very straightforward, you know, it's a coffee morning, we want, we want cakes. Um, but is it that we want cakes and we want people to come or is it the, the fact we want the volunteers? To, and if we want the volunteers, do we want the volunteers to turn up on the day or do we want them to actually talk to, to, to Joan in the kitchen who's doing the rotor or something like that? You know, it's, it's, it, it's very, very specific. Um, bear in mind where it's going to be displayed. The, the, the size of the font can actually affect this tremendously. If it is actually meant to be uh, in the church foyer, which is where people are actually walking within a few feet of it, then we can actually get away with an awful lot more detail than if it's actually on a, a wayside pulpit. They, I know one person that, that had a, it was a major road, and they, so they actually drove past and counted the number of seconds they could actually see the poster for as they drove at a reasonable speed, and therefore worked out how many words they could actually put on which the average driver would be able to read whilst actually going past. And I know it sounds a bit, bit ridiculous, but they then knew, you know, how much they could actually do, and also how big the letters needed to be to, to be seen very, very clearly. Uh, sometimes uh, a popular thing these days is that you're going to create a poster and that you're not only then going to print it maybe A2 outside the church, but it's going to be A4 actually in the foyer, but then you're actually going to put it onto social media as a, 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 as a very small image. So what you need to do is to work out, again, what people need to to be able to see if it's actually on a Facebook uh, site and, and it, there's no point having tiny writing because that just frustrates people that they can't actually, can't actually see, that, see, it, see it. And it sounds obvious and it was said again today but the, you really, you've got to get somebody to check it. The, it is so, so difficult to critique your own things when you're that close to it. And I would say with the Unitarian stuff, one of the things that we don't do enough is to get external people to actually view it. Because we are so tied up with our own language and we've all, a lot of us have been around for so many years and there's terminology and words that which we understand and it just means nothing to outside people. Um, I, I had quite an interesting uh, incident um, coming back from a same-sex wedding. Uh, I, I don't know how many people know Fergus O'Connor, but he, he married Michael, uh, I suppose, about six, six months ago. Um, and uh, it's where I damaged my knee, but we won't go into that. Um, and um, uh, I was coming back on the, on, the, on the tube, and there was a gr group of youngsters, and they, uh, um, w one, of the, one of the girls was flirting with a bloke and, 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 pretend, and telling this bloke he, he, what he'd done. He was obviously gay, uh, from, from, from something he'd done and how he, sh he should maybe consider a, a same-sex uh, uh, you know, partnership because obviously the, the, the stuff had just come on the news and, you know, and how, how you know, same-sex partnerships were, uh, same-sex weddings were, were sort of legal now, etc. And I just couldn't resist this. So I went over and I gave this guy, I said, here, I've got a present for you. And it had Unitarians support same-sex same -sex marriage. Um, uh, it's one of the badges from, from VSG, which, which, you know, people have been watching all day. It, there, there'd be one here, actually. Let's, let's get one out. I haven't got out the badges out this week. They, um, let's have a look. It, it'll be in a smaller version of that one. 
And it was absolutely wonderful seeing their reaction. I said nothing, said nothing to them at all. I just got this badge out and I handed it to this girl and she thanked me for it. And she went back and it was uni, uni, Unitarians. Oh, who, who are they? Oh, they're obviously trying to unite people. Um, and, um, you know, and it was better than the other definition I heard, which was the fact that it, it's obviously um, God for vegetarians is the other version I've heard, which I thought was actually wonderful. But, of, of course... You know, they had no understanding of, of the word at all, okay? But, you know, they were, t they were talking about it for 10 minutes and before, before I got off, and I left, I left them with a the badge. Um, and it's one of the fantastic advantages of the badge. But um, the... Um, sorry, I, I was... <laughs> um, I was rather, rather diver diverted, but the... the it's, there was a, a recent poster which was being uh, d developed, and... Um, uh, f okay, I'll be quite honest, it was for the Vision Day, the second Vision Day. And it had been bounced around several people, and we were all looking at the, at the details and trying to work out what the wording should be. And nobody no had noticed that the month was wrong. And it was only sort of, you know, a little bit further down the road. And it's just so, because we were all analysing the detail and looking at the political side of it, except nobody had actually noticed something incredibly obvious. I mean, it got picked up before it was too late, but, you know, I mean, it's so, so, so that. No, but what I was going to say is, is that for, from the outside, the word, if, if it's a meant to be a poster which is trying to explain how we, you know, how we communicate, it can only be critiqued by somebody who is not a Unitarian, that actually, you know, what do you think this means, et cetera, et cetera, in a little bit way the, the badge actually sort of worked. Now, an, a thing which is very interesting to know now is that more websites are viewed from mobile phones, smartphones, than home computers. And the, 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 the small screens that, we, that they've actually got on those mean the fact that a lot of the, the stuff that's going onto websites, and i.e. posters and graphics, are actually going to be viewed on a phone, a smartphone, rather than actually on a big computer. So if it's, if it's too small... Uh, the way it's displayed on the web page when it's looked at on a phone, then, you know, it's, it's, it's on there. This is what's interesting about the BBC at the moment. When you go to the website, all of a sudden, the page is now as simple as it can be with nothing great writing. When you watch the television and you watch put subtitles on, they're as tiny as they can be, as if everybody's got watching great television. Y yes, I, I, I agree there's an assumption for, from there that... that that, that people have got enormous televisions, and if somebody's got a television this size, this size, then then hey, um, you know. But so so you're you're absolutely right that they are making assumptions, and because it's probably eighty twenty rule that probably eighty percent of the time they're probably right, unfortunately. But there's a few weirdos like us around that that actually sort of you know d don't follow it. But but yes, that they have they all all websites have been changed for for mobile phone usage because it has taken over, and very soon this is slightly going sideways. Google will not actually list sites that it consider that are not mobile friendly and we have actually a lot to do on our websites to actually make sure that they, 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 are, they are mobile friendly. Um, but one of the things to <coughs> bear in mind when I was talking about a call to action or actually working out what people actually do, you will see a huge number of people now, if they see a poster and something they like, they will actually just go up and photograph it uh, with their phone so actually they then have the information on their phone that they can actually look at later. The, the QR, Q, Q, QR, QR, QR codes, um, th there are websites to, to do QR codes, um, and they, th from what I have experienced, um, uh, oh, wife's phoning, but never mind. Um, the, uh, you can look at me online, dear. Um, the, um, the, that they, they are very much a, a, a mixed bag. Some people actually rave about them and think they're absolutely wonderful, and a, and a, you know, a very clever way of, of going about things. Other people don't want to touch them like with a barge pole. Now, my view, and I don't, don't use them, but my, I, I feel I should use them and I should have them as a small part of that because even if they work in 10% of the cases, it helps. And it sounds awful, but it actually looks like you've made an effort and it looks like you're part of the 21st century. And people that are part of the 21st century don't really want to deal with anything that isn't part of the 21st century. Sorry, sir. Unless you use Excel to create. Oh, you can use Excel to create some. Okay, okay I didn't. I didn't know that. They. So they are yeah, the, uh, yeah. They're, 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 they're not. They're not difficult to do now to include. 
Um, so um, some of those. But, but effectively, the, the, the mobile phone culture is not something that, that you, you can uh, ignore, really. Um, right, what we're going to do now uh, is, is we're going to get up and, and, and play. Um, in your handouts that you've actually got, you have um, a page to critique um, eight posters. And nobody else is going to see this, um, so this is just for, for, for your purpose. But what I'd like you to do is to, is to either look at those, one of those 48 posters that we've got up there, or if there's anything that you want to on a smartphone or anything else that you actually want to do. I don't really mind what you do. But I want you to evaluate it on, on a scale of 1 to 10 for how much of a hook it's got, how much of a pull, how much of a catch, and how much of a land. So you could just take any random poster... Uh, you know, on there and actually say, right, well, I, you know, I think it, it actually does make me want to stop it. Compared with all the other posters on the wall, it's the one I keep coming back to, so it's actually got a hook, but has it got the other criteria, etc.? And then just, again, score it underneath, um, because it's for your own thing, you can score it any way you like, really, but for the quality of the poster, the, the amount of information that you actually have got on there, the relevance of the information, the appeal of it, and the readability... And you'll notice that some, some posters use crazy, crazy fonts um, to, to try and make it look appealing, to, to add this, this function, uh, to, make it, to make it look wonderfully clever, but it means it's, it's almost illegible to read. And uh, I won't bother going into some of the ones that are on the wall, that, which I think fall into that category, because you might have a different opinion. So just whether they're good or bad posters, just take, take eight, which you can just uh, actually critique to sort of follow the, the things that I've been talking about. And whilst you're doing that, and you'll see at the very bottom of the page, you've actually got... Um, what I want you to do is to choose, out of those 48, the best one that you think has got the best hook, the best one that's got the best pull, the best one to do the best catch, the best one to the best land, and then the very best overall. And right on the front page, you'll find you've got some stars... And you should have five, unless some of them have fallen off. And if they have fallen off, we'll find you a spare one. Don't put those on yet, but, but I'll give you a few minutes to do the critique. And then we'll actually all put the stars on at the end together. So the fact that we're, we're, we've all made up our own minds before we've seen what other people have done. Does that, does that make sense? So if you're at home, then you can, you can download this. And you can actually effectively go through the 48 posters that we've got and actually do the same thing. So people can actually follow it at home as well if they actually want to. Okay, so has everybody got five stars? Yes, every time I, I had to, when I cut in them out, they kept falling off, which isn't very clever. So go and have a look at the 48. I'm sorry they're a bit close together, um, but we, um, we're friends. And just critique eight, eight of the posters if you're happy to do that. Thank you all. So yeah, yeah, just 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 score score them on there. It's it's only for you. It's only it's only that. But it's just trying to go through, trying to make you think about what works and what doesn't. I'm just going to very quickly nip out.
For what? Ba 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 ba. Do 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 do. I mean, a few people will watch it on catch up, and it will be a resource yeah, to. Yeah. Oh, no, okay, not, yeah. not. Can't judge it properly. Well, I mean, it's, it's for your own purposes. I'm suggesting doing it at ten, but I mean, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. We're not going to discuss them in huge detail because obviously some are people's work, and we might be looking at them out of context, as has been mentioned over putting a sticker on the bottom, etc. You know. Probably about half of them are mine, um, but well, it's, it's only because I didn't mind people ridiculing my work, you know. But. Um, yeah, go on then. Uh, well, we could, yeah, just is, is everybody just about? No, I'll give people another couple of minutes and then um, to, to, to 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 do as many want. And you can start working out which ones you want to put the stars on. Yes, and then the very best is the gold one. So blue is the, the hook, red is the pull, silver, oh, hang on. 
I've got it. I think I've got, uh, I've got that around the wrong way. They, um, yeah, sil silver is catch. I haven't changed the words on the sheet there, but um, silver is catch. Green is land, and then the goldy one is uh, the best one that you think overall. This isn't earth-shatteringly important, if, you know. <laughs> right, go on then, have a go for it, those who've got the decided that, uh, that which you think is justifies the, the, the nice stars. So those that want to stick it on. Yeah, I'll explain... I've no idea what that's meant to mean at all. Either I, was, I was either in a dyslexic mood or I was drunk or I was tired or all three. As I, as I, yes, there's, I'll explain. That's, that's what I was talking about earlier, which is the, 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 the word documents. Um, but the oh, no, that's meant, okay, no, that's meant to say at home. Oh, right. follow, follow the links, but I've given that instruction. So, so. Right, okay, so anybody wants to put, the star, put their stars on? You can put, put them on when you want. Oh, I'm going to have a go. No, I'm too biased, I am far too biased. That's the problem. Yes. That's exactly the form yes. versus function problem. Yes. Um, you know, it, it's it's like clever and it's nice, yeah. but actually, if it's not going to yeah, achieve yeah. its objective, yeah, yeah. then then yeah, yeah. then then yeah, that's it. That's. It's, I think I've got the colours muddled up there. They, uh, yeah. on the, on the, the catch is green. <coughs> it's got it on your sheets. It's got it on your sheets. Uh, uh, it's got it on your sheets at the bottom. You've got your catch is silver and land is green. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of that sheet. Yeah. Yeah.
I'm trying to remember which when we did this last exercise last time, which poster won. Oh, I can remember. I can remember now. It's are you going to tell us or are you going to wait? I'll go to wait and tell you. Well, of course it does. It's, it's ju this is just an exercise. It's an exercise to try and make you think about it to, to, so that it afterwards, when you're creating posters, you'll, you'll create one that with, with a more thought. You know, it's also difficult to know the context and the location. I think that's important. Yes. Categories, but if the point is to just display it inside the church once they're there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brain's gone. <laughs> yes, I completely. Yes, I completely agree. Which is what you know. It's, it's which is why it's a, a, not. I don't say an unfair test, but it's it's not one that we've got all information. But mm. see, has everybody done what they want to do? Sticker-wise? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just have a quick look uh, as about who, who's, uh, who's. Uh, this, I, 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 Paul's been looking here. Oh, has he? Okay. What's oh, what? Scores really well on all 42. Number 43. What's 43? Number 43. This is this one here. Oh right. So yeah. he thinks 43 focus woman with soft faces. Yes. Okay. So many of the middle ones are too busy. Number 35, how many people know that senior means teenagers? I never thought about that. Yeah. I assumed it meant older people. Ah, <laughs> senior weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I don't disagree with that. Yeah. This one here. <coughs> this one. And, and, and uh, view, viewing them online, you're going to do it. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It's obviously, it's all subjective, and there's no right or wrong answer. It's just, it's just to make sure that people think, think, these, think these things through. Um, just, I'll just talk about this, this one. This one's got quite a lot of stars. Um, number 42 for, for, for anyone online. And the, 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 obviously the main grip of this one is the image. Um, and... Um, well, all right, okay, all right, okay, okay, all right. I well, okay. The, obviously, the reason why people have done those, but is 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 the 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 um the, this this happens to be one of my photographs, and I remember it was taken in this room here, um, and they were all give, the kids were given a writing exercise, and Steph would just got on the floor and lay down, there, and the sun was coming through her hair, and it was just a, a I had the right lens on, and just mm -hmm. just took it, and I've used it in a in a few situations. Um, because I just think it's, it says so much. The, the key about a good image, whether it's a PR image or whether it's whatever image, is it should not need an explanation. It shouldn't need anything across the bottom to actually explain what it's all about. May I ask, do you, do you have her permission? Yes, to I do. Yes, yes. <laughs> for, for, yes. They, they, no, I don't only have her permission, but I've got the parents' permission as well, because it was signed that, cause for, for Unitarian um, uh, publication. So, yes. If, no, no. Well, okay, different... Yeah. Well, different D different people have dif different, different actually views of it, but what I've tried to do is to d do those. But a good, a good image is, I, I think, in incredibly important because it's actually just trying to convey uh, an awful lot. You know, the expression on this guy's face is just perfect for, for you know, the, the, the thing. It's not, it's not facetious. It's not, you know, it's, it's, uh, this has nothing to do with me, this poster, but it's just, it's just a, a beautiful, a really lovely portrait photograph, I think, of a, yeah. of a chap, you know, and... Um, it's it's you know it's just not 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 do, not not doing all those. And this was obviously this was the first run of this of this one. And you know, and I tried to be clever with the image, and it just completely and utterly failed. The other thing that you have to that you have to bear in mind if you are, which comes back to what was mentioned earlier, is if you are printing this on an inkjet printer, then 
it, it can sap a huge amount of ink to start with. Um, and secondly, if, unless it's uh, a chalk-based paper on an inkjet printer, um, that it's not very vivid. Uh, inkjet <coughs> printers are really meant for chalk-based paper, not clay-based paper. Um, and um, um, they, the only other way of making it really uh, vibrant is to actually sort of laminate it, and, and you hope that that's going to sort of put, pull the colours out and make it look bigger and brighter and, and glossier. Uh, but that is a factor. A lot of these were produced when I was worked at Essex Hall, and they got a new printer, and it was a flat rate, regardless uh, per, per print, regardless of how much ink you used. You know, because basically it was, a, I think it was about four and a half p for a colour or a sheet or something, and and it didn't matter whether there was it used a lot of toner or very little. And I said, yes, I can do all these these one, ones etc. And, and I was didn't actually didn't actually uh, help pay the didn't matter about the bills. Um, so, so other ones that have actually got, uh, got, got on here. A lot of people uh, do, do like that one there. Uh, nobody started here, but that, that's quite a popular one. It, I go a lot around a lot of churches, and that was, that was available, and that's there. But, but not many people have... Nobody's done that here, I, which I don't... don't, I don't. Well, no, it's, it's fine. It's, it's not, not, not being critical at all. Um, and on these ones here, um, what we got? These three... These four are done by a guy called John, I think his name is from Kendall, and Pickering, thank you, who um, is, really does graphic design for his, for, for his job. And what he has now done is he's developed a lot of Unitarian posters which um, people you know, can, can buy. He's doing it actually from a commercial basis. He, he let us use these but the, um, the, the, these, these ones and some other ones. But he basically sells, post, you know, does postcards and posters and bits and pieces now. So if you, if you go to Kendall Unitarian's website, I think there's a link from there, but if not, you could actually ask them. And he's, he's, he's actually doing them. So if you need new posters, then that is a, a, a location or resource that, that we now have, which is wonderful. I didn't put my star on, but I've got <coughs> give that on the gold star. You've got that on the game of gold star, yeah. yeah. Really okay. Yeah, it's it's just it's, it's very it's very very simple, isn't it? You know, they, they, I don't mean that nastily. You know, yeah, so but the problems with these is they don't make you do anything. Well, That's they, the they, they, they okay. The, I I agree. What they're trying to do is is be generic, and that they're trying to do is to make you go to that website to find out yeah. more about us. That is the call to action. Yeah. But it's not saying, for, you know, to understand more about what we stand for. Please go to here no. be, because. It was trying to be very clean, very very minimal, but but I, I, I and it might be explicit, it might be implicit. <coughs> that's but why I couldn't because yeah. that's mine. But I, I do like that one. But I think I can't couldn't. Whilst the whole the thing I found much attractive and was for me the nicest poster, of it, I would be drawn to that. But I couldn't make a gold one because I'm yes. thinking I don't. Quite yes. know what they want me to do. Yes, yes, yeah, the, I, I, I agree. It, it's, and, and maybe the location of it would, would help outside a church, and you think, oh, okay, et cetera. But, you know, you really want the, the local church on that, et cetera. But yes, okay, on, on that one. For, the, me, for me, a lot of it is about, there's just too much text. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's yeah. the thing, and I think of each time the ones that I, you know, I don't think are worth well, it. Well, the... The, the, the game has changed, of course, because pre-internet, we had to get a lot of the information actually on here. Yeah. Now, what we're probably trying to do is to get people to go to a website, which is where they can pick up more information. Yeah. So, and they're standing with their mobile phones. They haven't got to remember anything now, because they're standing with their mobile phone, and it's like, oh, WW Unitarian, so da 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 Oh, right, okay, I've got it. <coughs> so... The, 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 you can get away with a lot less text now because the call to action is to actually go on the website and find out more from there. But that does mean it's really important what you have on the front page of your website. Because if you Absolutely. start with this wordy blah, 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 people go, oh, not interested. Yes. I don't know if anybody read this. Um, th 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 this, this was Julian's son, Joe, who wrote this um, when he was about 15 or something. And I just think it's a, it's a beautiful definition of what... Um, what belief is about, and uh, I, I, I really um, liked it. And, and the, the image, I mean, I'm sorry to bore you with all the details, but um, we were all walking back from, from um, uh, this is another youth weekend, we were all walking back from 
Eam, the village, and, and suddenly these clouds came over and I just shouted at them, stop, I'm taking your photograph. And I jumped down in the thing and, and they all hold ha held hands and we, we, we got that photograph. But, um, <coughs> right, I don't think, I mean, I really like, I actually really like this one from the, from the colourings of it and things. I haven't talked about colours particularly, but, you know, th there's, th that's beautifully blended. Um, but uh, there's a lot of information on there, a lot of text. But, you know, in 2011, there was less mobile phones than there is now. Um, right, just see if there's any other comments online, if you're happy, Louise, and we'll we call it. <laughs> well, yes, it is easier so as well. Sometimes, but to be quite honest, I didn't really want to go into that, particularly. Well, uh, it's yes, and some of those probably are mine, and others are other people's. And I did, I, either way, I, did, I thought it was unfair because it could be that the person said, "Well, actually, it was meant to go in this location, and in that location, it'd have been fine." You're judging it from another location, so so rather than that. But the whole point is just trying to give you some pointers to for for if you're doing it, but. These days, it's, you know, it's graphics to put onto to, to social media rather than actual pr you know, printed stuff. Um, right, has anybody got any other comments or things they want to, want to mention? I've mentioned before um, the Unicom's, on, on the Unicom's website, the, um, there's one page on there called, called Word Posters, and you've got 125 posters that you can actually sort of download. And if you really are into graphics and you really want to play around, Essex Hall have the image library and you can, there's 7,000 images on there and they'll give people access to it so you can actually get, download them and, and, and sort of create your own. That's fine, you were just pointing to there when you were over there. Sorry. I see. Sorry, I thought there was going to, I thought there was, a, thought there was another, another question. Whatever. Okay. Um, John Pickering's posters I've mentioned as well. You can actually just Google John Pickering and I'm sure it'll come up, um, etc. Right, any more for any more? Okay, we go offline then and uh, we've got the, the, the little concert coming up. So bye-bye people on the internet land. Thank you for watching. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>